Johannes Hendrikus Hubert John de Mol Jr. is a Dutch media tycoon. De Mol is one of the men behind production companies and de Mol and Talpa. And de Mol. De Mol, a well-known personality in the Netherlands, acquired his fortune producing television programs. In 1997 to 1999 he developed the highly popular reality television series Big Brother with his eponymous production company, John de Mol Producties. In 1994 his company merged with Duup van den Ender TV Producties into Ender Mol, but it still functioned on its own. He also produced Fear Factor, Love Letters, One vs. 100 and Deal or No Deal for Ender Mol. De Mol sold his share of Endemol in 2000 to Telefonica, but continued to serve as creative director until 2004. In 2005, he was listed on the Forbes magazine list of the 500 richest people in the world. In May 2007 De Mol returned as one of the main shareholders of Endemol together with the Italian company media set of Silvio Berlusconi in a 2.6 billion euro deal, Talpa Media Holding. After departing Ender Mall in 2004, De Mol founded his own television station. The proposed name, Tien, was disputed by competitor SBS Broadcasting, owner of the TV10 brand. The channel had to launch under the Talpa brand, Latin for Mol, which translates to Mol in Dutch. Later the name dispute was ended, which resulted in the rebranding of Talpa to TN. The station scored bad ratings, despite scooping the rights of the Eredivisie Football League. In 2007 De Mol decided to close down TN and sold the channel to RTL Nederland, retaining a share in that company. De Mol also sold Radio 538 to RTL Nederland, which he acquired in 2005. Talpa remained the name of the holding company managing De Mol's assets and the production company which continued to produce several programs for the RTL network, including the highly successful Ik Hu van Holland. Buying SBS in 2011 Talpa worked together with Finnish media conglomerate Sonoma to buy the Dutch activities of SBS Broadcasting from German broadcaster ProZeb and Sate One Media. As part of that deal De Mol sold his shares in RTL Nederland to the RTL Group, retaining the ownership of Radio 538 and its sister stations Radio 10 Gold and Slam FM. The Voice in 2010, a new reality competition series, The Voice of Holland, was launched by De Mol. It was an incredible success in the Netherlands and the formula was sold to several other countries around the globe. The Voice launched on 27 April 2011 on NBC and with De Mol and Mark Burnett as executive producers. In The Voice, the singing auditions are blind. The jury is turned with their back to the competitors. Once selected, the juror turns towards the competitor. This concept, the creation of De Mol and Dutch singer Roel van Belzen, makes it all about the voice. After these blind auditions, the coaches will train their eight competitors through knockout battles and public voting rounds until there is one competitor left, who will be named as the voice. In the original Dutch series the four judges in the jury were, singer Angela Gruthu Izen, singer Roel van Belzen, singers Nick and Simon and singer Jerome van der Boom. First winner in the Netherlands, Ben Saunders, was chosen by all jurors during the blind audition. It took Ben seven words into his song, before three of the four judges selected him, pushed their button and had their chairs turned towards him personal life. De Mol was formerly married to singer and actress Willie Calberti. The actor Johnny De Mol is their son. Outside of television, De Mol controls a large private equity fund which at one time owned significant shares of car manufacturer Spiker Cars and telecommunications company Versatel. John's sister, broadcaster and actress Linda De Mol, presents or appears in some of N. De Mol's programs, including the original Dutch version of Deal or No Deal, Millian and Jacked. She also presented one of Ender Mol's very first productions, The DJ Cat Show.